good paying jobs here at home. I'll put a tax cut of up to $1,000 directly into the pockets of 95% of workers and their families. That's what I'm going to do as president. That's what change means. Change is a president who stands up for working families by strengthening the Family and Medical Leave Act, who doesn't denigrate public service, who doesn't denigrate public service by privatizing good public jobs every chance it gets. A president who protects your wages and the quality public service that Americans all across this country depend on. Change, change is a president who's walked on picket lines, who doesn't choke on the word union, who lets them do what they do best. Who lets unions do what they do best and organize our workers and who will finally make the Employee Free Choice Act the law of the land. That's what change is. And that's the choice in this election. We are just over two months from the change that we see. And if you will keep marching with me and organizing with me and keep knocking on those doors and making those phone calls and registering voters and talking to your friends and coworkers and neighbors, and if you will get out there and vote for me, then I promise you this, we will win the general election. And then together, you and me, we are going to change this country and we're going to change the world. Thank you so much for the endorsement. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Yes, Thank we you. can. Yes, we 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 can. Thank you now, he's leaving. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Senator Obama, for those inspiring words to postal workers, members of the American Postal Workers Union. We're behind you, you because so we want change. We want America that responds to the needs of average workers, the ordinary people. We want the dream that they've taught us throughout our lives about what America can offer. And we look to you. You're going to win because we're going to make sure you win. Woo! Woo! Thank you. So when you see the blue shirts out there knocking on doors and signing up unregistered voters and going to the polls, you'll know that the American Postal Workers Union supports Barack Obama for president. Yes, we can. Woo! Thank you. I feel as though the decision we just made will bring change. We need hope put back into America. America is without hope. A country without hope is lost. The only one. Actually, I've learned a little more about them than I have over the past, and I think I'm going to support them. And I would think that uh, based on the things that he states for, he's actually for, it was, it was not, uh, there was no missing of words. He, he stated it was for a lot of things that we ourselves are concerned about. He's for labor. I'm, I'm for him. Yeah, yeah I agree. Bush and, Bush and his crooks have been in the White House way too long. And uh, they've done nothing but left a trail of pain behind them. Vote for Obama. That's what we're going to do. We're going to change America with him. Why should APWU members get involved in supporting Obama and other labor-endorsed candidates? Convention delegates gave a variety of reasons, from the economy to the war in Iraq. This year has to be the turning point for America. What has happened in the past eight years in a, is an abomination. There can, this cannot continue and have a middle-class America. I can't explain to my kids and my grandkids 
why things are the way they are. They say we're in a recession, but it seems more to me like it's a depression. There's no money flowing anywhere. And, you know, we have a lot of families that are hurting, children that are hurting. Um, people can't afford, they be saying the American dream is to have an American home, but you can't afford it. We need changes in this country, you know, and Republicans, <laughs> sadly to say, have not been too good with uh, working class people. You know, I, I think Mr. Obama would do more to get the economy up, the employment, and, you know, better benefits for working people. I think he can help a lot. I, right now I have two grandkids that do not have health insurance. And I think with Obama being in there, we can get our health uh, care improved and repaired. And I won't have to worry about being a grandmother raising my grandkids and carrying their health insurance. What we deserve is the ability of people to know that they're going to have a good health care uh, insurance for them and their family. They're going to have a good paying job with a retirement that isn't going to be snatched out from underneath them. And we will get that support we need for those issues, not only for postal workers, but for everyone in America. One of the greatest problems that the veterans have today coming home is even if they had jobs when they left, many of the jobs that they had when they left have disappeared. There's no jobs for them to come home to. They need to have places to go. They need to have jobs. That's what Barack Obama promises in this country, as better jobs and job opportunities for those individuals who work, those individuals who will give up for their country and go overseas. There should be something for them to come home to. That's disappeared under the Bush administration. We need to bring that kind of opportunity back to everybody, especially our veterans as they come home. I had the opportunity to visit Walter Reed Hospital in May when I attended the OWCP conference, and it moved me so. This young man's been back for a year, yet every time he lays his head down, he's having these nightmares. And it just, it was so upsetting to me that John McCain can get on television and talk about oh, 50 more years, 100 more years. And, and what are we achieving? Today, all convention delegates should be decked out in a blue APWU shirt to demonstrate against a packet shipping franchise that trades on an offensive stereotype of postal employees. Buses will leave from Bally's lower level.